This morning we're going to be tying another sensitive steel head, uh, winter steel head pattern. Uh, I'm starting off with the C14S glow bug hook. We've got some U140 uh, in fluorescent orange. This is a really simple fly. It's also very effective. Uh, just two materials, thread and then parapost in this fluorescent orange uh, color. We're going to start the thread directly behind the eye as we usually do. Take that all the way back down past the bend. Again, not your typical glow bug type pattern, something a little bit different for the fish to look at. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the yarn itself, the, the parapost, and we're just going to tie in a little section at the back of the hook. And leave it a little bit scruffy, no big deal. So we're going to take that, that yarn and we're going to loop it over on itself to make a little bit of an egg profile. And then we're just going to continue to make those loops and I'll alternate the sides. You can see the first one was straight off the back and kind of off the, the dorsal surface of the hook. Second one will be just in front of it but off to the side. And we'll just have to keep on advancing that up. So one of the things I really like about this pattern is, is it kind of goes back to the and we've heard, heard it said in my videos before about the polyrospora and the tying the fuzzy nymph. This bug, when it goes into a steelhead's mouth, doesn't have as much of a chance to escape because it's got so many little tangling surfaces on, on the teeth and, and that. Uh, not exactly like a, a snagging situation, but it gives it one second for it to hang up in the fish's mouth before it gets pulled out. A lot, a lot more effective that way. We can tie this from a size 4 all the way down to, say, you know, a size 8, just depending on how spooky those fish are. Just finish up the head a little tiny bit here. Quick finish. At this point in time, you can put a little drop of Zappa Gap or something like that in there to finish up the head. And there is the completed uh, Parapost egg cluster, one of my favorites. Hope it's one of yours too.